Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. We've got a white sangria on our menu today. Now, this is a good one y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all why. The ingredients for this sangria is so darn versatile. It is ridiculous. All right, you can change every part of this and make it any kind of sangria you want. So you can basically take what you have in your house and put it together and make a sangria. See what I'm saying? I love it too. So not only with um with Mexican, with tacos and enchiladas and that type of stuff. Hey. All right, so what I have here is I have a dry white wine orange liqueur, which is the triple sack, and I have a brandy right here. You can use any kind of wine. So you can use a white wine, a red, a blush, rosé, whatever you want to. You can use brandy, you can use rum, vodka, a cognac. So you can switch these liquors and this, this wine. This is crazy. I love it. And that's why I like sangria. It's a quick, refreshing drink, but especially in the summertime, because you know most of the time in the summertime, you don't want to water your drinks down. So if you've already got this and it's already cold, <laughs> slurp, slurp, baby. All right, so the other versatile part of this is the fruit. You can put any kind of fruit. See, I got an apple or orange right there. I have pineapples. So, you know, you want you can use um you can use a watermelon. You can just change this. Lemons, limes, add it in there so you can make this. <laughs> I'm about to say something crazy, but you can make this to match your decor. So let's just say you have you have green and white. You can use a white wine and then you can use like green apples with the, with the green skin on the outside. You can use limes and a lemon in there to, to match. You know what I'm saying? So you can switch this up. All right, so now you want to cut your apples. Now you're going to cut your fruit as big as you want to. Don't cut your fruit too small because you don't want to suck your fruit through the straw. Now, keep in mind with this sangria, that fruit, when you get done with this, that fruit is going to be drunken fruit. So when you eat that, double whammy, baby. Double whammy. So if you think you're not going to get lit off this, think again. Think again. I don't care what kind of liquor you use in here. Trust me. When that fruit sits in that liquor and you eat it, so trust me, if by, just by drinking, you don't get it. Oh, boy. You're going to get it after this. <laughs> Watch this. All right. So you see how small or how big I'm cutting the apples I'm slicing. So you're going to do this for all of the fruit that you have. Now, what I have right there is I have canned pineapples. So if you have some fresh pineapples, then trust me, it's going to work. So if you think that the canned pineapple is going to have like that tin, that tin-like taste, what you can do is you can squeeze some lemon or some lime over those pineapples. Don't squeeze a whole lot, but just squeeze a little bit. It'll knock that canned flavor off for you but this is going in liquor so you don't have to do that because trust me it's going to suck up the liquor and the wine so <laughs> we all good with this trust me i could talk about sangrias forever but just take a look if you haven't hit that like or that subscribe button do so now smash that thumb up leave a comment share and hit that bell for notifications so you'll be one of the first ones to know when I put up a new video, especially these Thirsty Thursdays, because I'm always trying to come up with something. So as we go into the summertime now, I'm going to try to come up with some fabulous drinks. I have to, because drinks, that's the thing now. You notice that? That's the thing. When you look on TikTok and stuff, people making um, slushies or people just making, you know, really good drinks. So I'm going to try to hook us up and, and put us onto it too. Hey, and don't forget, I got a TikTok page. I got an Instagram page. So my TikTok is um right now. It's in Glow's Kitchen, but I'm going to switch it back to Miss Glow's Kitchen. But my Instagram is definitely under Miss Glow's Kitchen. So check me out on there because some things that I put up on TikTok and Instagram, I don't put it up on YouTube. All right? So, because for instance, I got that grinder sandwich. It's going up on TikTok, but it's not going up on here. So, check me out on there. Trust me. We get some other videos and lickety split in like a few seconds because you know TikTok, those are really short videos. So, check me out on there anyway. All right. So, you know, here's where you're going to taste too. So, let me tell you. I don't want to put a mount here because you're going to taste this. So, you're going to put... Um, you're going to eyeball, you're going to put as much wine in there as you want to put in there, and then you're going to start adding liquor by the cups. So you're going to put all of the wine that you want, then you're going to put a cup of liquor, you're going to taste it. 
You're gonna put another cup of liquor, you're gonna taste it again. Until you get to the point where it's enough liquor in your sangria. Now you know if you like to get lit, you already know. If you like to get lit, then you're gonna take, <laughs> you're gonna put a little more um, liquor in it. So y'all, that, that Capriccio, that, that's gonna tear you up. So if you use that, <laughs> that Capriccio wine, and you mix it with some liquor, you about to be laid out. So, take it from me, take it from Miss Glow. <laughs> that is not the wine you want to use unless you're going to drink really, really small cups of it at a time. I ain't playing about that either. All right, so that triple sec, about a quarter cup, half a cup of triple sec. Now, what that triple sec is going to do is going to bump up the sweetness for you. So, if your fruit is not that sweet, um, you don't use a wine. Because I used a dry white wine. And, of course, you know brandy is not as, as bitter as some other liquors. So if you have, you know, a bitter liquor or bitter wine, then the triple sec is going to help you out. So put the triple sec in there, put a quarter cup, then a half cup. Again, I tell you, taste it along the way. Now, here we go again with these sangrias. If you want to change the color of your sangria, then by all means, blue curacao, baby. Blue curacao will give you a purple sangria. If you put it in with that red wine, it's going to give you a really light green or even a bluish color, you know, with these white wines. So think about it if you're trying to <laughs> match, you're trying to go animal match your food and drinks then, baby, this is it. All right, so we're gonna stir this around, stir it around really well. Now this is gonna go in the fridge, so do this uh, before your guests arrive. And what you can do is you can put this in the fridge and you can let this get so cold. So even on the hottest summer day, so if you got like a, here's my, my tip too. Y'all like a really hot summer day, serve these small cups at a time. Because the reason why, if you serve it in bigger cups, the longer it sits next to somebody, it's going to get warm. And you're going to need to put ice in it. So if you give them smaller sipping cups at a time, you know, they're going to drink it while it's cold and then it's cool. So by the time it even starts to think about getting warm, they will have drank it already. This is what it looks like when it's done and it's been in the fridge for a couple of hours. Hey! Y'all better go make this. Thanks for watching on Thirsty Thursday. See y'all next time. For more great recipes, tips, and ideas, check out some of my other videos.